What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I'm showing you a really quick video on what I use just to clean my lens and mirrors on my laser. I did make a video of this, uh, of how to clean your mirrors and lens in 5 minutes on a K40. Uh, it takes roughly about the same amount of time, I'm getting a little bit quicker. Probably take a couple of minutes on this one, uh, just going straight through. But instead of using acetone or alcohol or anything like that, I just use these. These are just glasses wipes uh, that come in individual packets. So you get two packets together here, you just rip it open and you just get the wipe inside there. Uh, so each one of these is clean and nice and easy and quick to use. So I'll just show you quickly how I go through it. So with these laser heads, they're a little bit difficult to get off compared to the K40. When I first got this machine, I had to get a pair of pliers on here to get it off because everything was super tight. But what I need to do is I need to pull, this is the adjustment for the uh, red dot. I have to pull that right up, flick this up, and I have to press this blue tab here. Let's try and get closer for you. That's not good. I'll twist it around. So this blue tab here. Press that down and pull up on the pipe and that releases the air assist pipe. Now I'll use the air assist as leverage for turning the head. So I just grip there where the laser head attachment just wrap around and then just undo that. The reason you need to move the red dot is because this gets stuck on there. So there we go, uh, the lens in there is a little bit dirty you can see uh, I was doing some acrylic last time and it's a little bit dirty in there so I'll get this head back out of the way so that's the wipe it's just a small wipe it's a little bit damp not super wet undo this and then using the cloth I just tip it onto the cloth Let's see how dirty this is so you've got a little bit of condensation a little bit wet off the cloth there just on the left side and you're getting a bit of condensation off my warm hands because this is not very warm but I've got a little bit of shadowing on this side here which is from the underside and that was from around four hours worth of cutting and engraving on acrylic. I normally do this at the start of every single day. Every two or three hours I am cleaning this lens. The easiest way to do this, to put it back on, is to put it curved side down on there, just so you're not touching it with your bare hands, and just pop it in that way. Give it another quick wipe while it's in there. And there we go, nice and clean. And we gently put this screw back on. Some of your lenses might have a rubber ring on the inside. Mine didn't come with one. I've been tempted to get one just in case and over tighten this and crack it, but just be gentle. Uh, it doesn't need to be super, super tight, but it needs to be tight enough so that it's not gonna rattle around when it's moving and that is perfectly fine. So I bring this back over and we screw it back on. Nice and tight. You can take the same cloth. And I just use my little finger, just put it inside the cloth. You probably use another finger, depends on which finger you've got that fits. And I just clean the inside of this lens here. And they're not that dirty. Like I say, I do this every two or three hours worth of cutting just to try and get the optimal out of there and stop any debris getting in the way. And then I just give the other two mirrors a little wipe over, reach through there. And that's it. Done. And then after we've finished, and just wipe over the cap. 
So these things are not very wet, they're very damp, they're designed for cleaning glasses and just any kind of glass really and leave a streak free finish. Um, after about 10 or 15 minutes this just goes completely dry and it, it kind of feels like paper but nothing at all comes off, you don't get any fibres coming off and you're not messing with any chemicals or anything like that and they're very cheap this box of 50 plus 2, I've got an extra 2 in this one uh, this box of 52 cost me a pound from my local pound shop and it's just been amazing, I just clean it with ease every time I come to use the laser, if I'm doing a very busy day and I'm using it all day, I'll clean it 2 or 3 times during the day but nice and cheap and easy to use so thanks for watching guys if you found this helpful please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video